Today, I'm going to be using a World Champions Galarian Moltres team that really relies on setting up the Galarian Moltres alongside support Pokemon such as Sinistra and Munkadori. Let's see how this team is going to perform. This is Ryota's Galarian Moltres team. The idea of the team is set up Nasty Plot with your support Pokemon. So you have a lot with the screens on the Grimstone with Light Clay making it 8 turns for each of the screens. Parting Shot, of course, so you can reposition. And then a low kick, which allows you to hit a few Pokemon that Galarian Moltres might not exactly enjoy, such as Tyranitar, Isuian Arcanine, and Heatran. Then you have support options with the Sinisha with Hospitality, potentially allowing Moltres to stack up multiple Berserk boosts alongside Life Dew, Rage Powder, Trick Room support, which is fantastic. You have the Intimidate from the Hisuian Arcanine with that Assault Vest and helps out against, for instance, Flaming Chiyu combinations, which is always appreciated. You have the Life Dew Milotic as a backup answer in case you have Pokemon that are problematic for the Galarian Moltres. You have Life Dew and you have Hypnosis support. Potentially, that could also help out if you really need to go for it in the last case scenario. And finally, the Munkadoi with the coverage and fake out us parting shot situations it reminds me of the Alolan Persian and Frisk allowing you to scout for potential items so you can plan accordingly on how you want to set up the Galarian Moltres. If you'd like to check out the details of the team and the creator, they'll be linked in the description down below, but let's get started and play some games. For Rigoraf Clefairy with the Heatran, Rillaboom, Como, and the Hisuian Zork. Okay, uh, this is going to be a little bit weird, mainly just because of the Hisuian Zork. Also, for Rigoraf means I can't go for a priority parting shot, but I can still go. I, it's just weird because I don't have Spear Break on my Grimstone. If I had Spear Break on the Grimstone, would be really nice. This one has Low Kick, which I don't know if that's really going to help me here, but you know, we'll see. They don't have a really easy time with Glaring Moltres, so I really like Glaring Moltres here. Glaring Moltres is really good. I think I'm going to do Grim Snarl plus Galarian Moltres. It just seems so solid against this team. I don't know what they exactly do to break through it. And then in the back, I like the Sinistra a lot here. And then I think Munkadori is also pretty good because I get to scout for items potentially. So we'll see. Also, Parting Shot is also nice here. Sludge Bomb for the Clefairy so I can break through it faster than having to rely on like Friend Guard next to the partner. So... I can't really break through it quickly with Galarian Moltres unless I get rid of the Clefairy. And that's what the Monkey Dory will do here. So let us see how this matchup is going to perform. I do have a few ideas of how this might play out. But again, I think we just uh, set up the screens, get up nasty plots and see how it goes from there. We're going to see Ferrigraph and Como against my Galarian Moltres plus my Grim Snarl. So pretty simple i'm just gonna get a light screen up immediately and i'm just gonna go for a nasty plot and then we'll play it out from there so let's see what the como set is because the como is really going to be pretty crucial in this one i do want nasty plot because i'm not threatening any damage i could get damage off like i'd still do a significant amount to como with an air slash or a fire wrath immediately into furigraph but i'm not getting ko so set up that nasty plot like why not i can also cover the como with low kick potentially the next turn but i think the big question is is this Iron Defense Body Press because it would actually do a lot of damage to my Galarian Moltres, but we're going to see a Terra committed immediately from the Como. So that is going to be a Terra Dragon. Huh. All right. And not the Terra I'd have expected, but all right. That definitely works out for me. Going to get a light screen off. Huh. Terra Dragon. Taunt for Rigra. Why is it faster than my Galarian Moltres? What? Is it Clanger's soul? Is that Scarf for Rigraph? I've seen a few on the ladder recently because it does catch you off guard at times, but... Oh, wait, that's... uh, the... Oh, no, n never mind. That was a bluff right there. That is not a Scarf for Rigraph. That is probably a Hisuian Zark. It doesn't get on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to parting shot into it, I guess, and I'm just going to go for a... Actually, can I parting shot in? Yeah, I can parting shot if I want to. I'm just going to go for the fire wrath. Ah, actually, should I switch here? Game momentum? It might be worth it. I just don't know if they go hard. I think I... You know what? I'm going to Munkadori here. Munkadori, it's nice. It's not necessary to win. So I'm going to go Munkadori and I'm going to parting shot here to get in my... Uh, get in my free switch again. So we found a focus sash on the yeah that has to be the Hisuian Zorak. Parting shot into the 
Como, I do realize it could have been soundproof, but a lot of them have been running either the bulletproof or the overcoat here. So get that Como back to neutral special attack. Unless it was throw spray, I actually didn't pay attention. But yeah, we're going to go back into Moltres. So, okay, we're back in a okay spot now. <laughs> kind of realized I could have blessed the Ferrograph plus the thing. Snarl going to come out. All right, that is not pretty, but all right. Acceptable, acceptable. And we're going to see the flash cannon come out into what was the Grim. Okay. Yeah, it does nothing. So I'm perfectly acceptable here. I'm going to go for a Fire Raph and uh, against a Taunt here potentially. And uh, do I want a Parting Shot here or do I want to go for Fake Out? I don't think the Como can knock me out in one shot. I think I'm just going to go for a Parting Shot attempt into the Como. In case they actually try to go hard for Regraph on a fake out, and yeah, that's exactly what they do here. So, perfectly acceptable for me here. Maybe they go cleft. That's fine, too. They do go out into their own giraffe. So, yep, caught it. And I do get the parting shot off. That Como is pretty dang slow, actually. So, that is a minus one Como. Fantastic. And now we can go out into... I can go out into anything really here. I think I want to go out into Sinistra. The Sinister is just such in a safe position. Now I can actually Nasty Plot up with my Galarian Moltres and a Life Dew if I want to. So this is going to be pretty nice here. So I am able to get that Hospitality. Playing Scale is going to come out, which... Okay, it's Terra Dragon, but you're like minus one here. Still does a pretty significant amount of damage, actually. But Fire Wrath going to come out. And doesn't do anything to that Como, but... that. Uh, that photograph took quite a bit. We will nasty plot here. We will go for a life do. Don't see a reason not to. And afterward, like, it's looking really tough. I don't know what they're going to do. They could go for another Clangor Soul, which is fine. I am happy with that. I could go back into Grim, which I think is pretty acceptable. Like, yeah. If they switch out the photograph to go back in the uh, Hisuian Zorak, I'm going into Grim, I think, the next turn. Like, I might as well. They go for Clang Scales. They're going to stay in, actually. So, that's perfectly acceptable here. Clang Scales is going to be fired off. It is actually doing still quite a significant amount of damage, actually. I'm impressed. Is there going to activate? I am going to be able to heal up with my Barry, too, which is great. And, yeah, like, I'm about to be a plus two after this because I got back to neutral with the Berserk. Get a nasty plot off. Looking pretty solid right here. Looking pretty solid. I do want to go Grim the next turn. Life Dew going to come out. Heal the Sinistra and the Glaring Moltres, which is very much appreciated here. That Hospitality plus the Life Dew. Great. Like, I'm basically back to full. Gleam coming out, which is a pretty significant amount of damage to the Glaring Moltres because they crit me. I was about to say that did a lot, but... All right. And we can now go for a Fire Wrath here, and I am going to Life Dew, I think. Because I'm pretty sure I live another Clang Scales, it looked like, based on the range. So I am just going to go for it. I don't see a reason not to go for it. Because I want to keep the Glaring Moltres decently healthy. And then afterward, uh, switch out into Grim. I think afterward, the next turn should be pretty acceptable. So we are going to see the Ferrigar switch out. This is probably out into the Hisu and Zork. Which, how is this going to work? Okay, so the illusion just wears off because we already seen it. Yeah, it's because they can't like switch in Giraffe <laughs> again. A uh, Clang Scales. That is a really bad crit there. I do get another special attack boost, but uh, that's a really bad crit there. I do get the... Oh, but that is really good damage. <laughs> Although I am a little bit worried about like how much I am going to take from the Galeri, uh, from the Hisuian Zork now. But uh, goodbye Como, I suppose. That's one threat gone. Okay. And a life due to heal. <laughs> this is not going to be easy depending on what the Zork moveset is. But we do have light screen still up, which is good. I am a little bit concerned about like... Yeah, I mean, this is still pretty concerning. Uh, what's your last? E-Train. Yep, that is very concerning. All right. Going to protect the Galarian Moltres. I want to go out into... Does Munkadori outspeed Hisuian Zorak? I don't even know if it does. I think I'm just going to go back into Grim. Yeah, I go back into Grim here. Yeah, this is where it gets concerned. That could actually does really hurt me because I would have been in a fine position of just switching out to Sinistra, getting the hospitality back via Grim, but now it's a lot harder. I also don't remember if this is my last turn of light screen, so I'd have to... A look at that, but we are going to go out and Grim. 
protect the Galarian Moltres. Snarl gonna come out. Okay, so it's not like Hyper Voice or something. That's one of the things I was really fearing here. Grim avoids, but like that Snarl was not doing any damage. Heat Wave, sure. Okay. Uh, how many do I still have light screen? Life or Petrin. Okay, I do have light screen up. Okay, that's really good. So I can go for the Fire Wrath here and I can sw swap out into my Sinisha one more time. Okay, perfect. Because I do need the health back. Beautiful. And I think that should give me enough turns to viably win this. It also depends on the speed tier to Heatran versus the Galarian Moltres. I think if Galarian Moltres just outspeeds, I do win the game automatically. So that would be really ideal. But we are going out into our Sinistra to get the Hospitality. We should survive one Snarl, I think, from the Hisuian Zork. Just because it's not like a stab move. Heatran protects, which is perfectly fine. It actually ends up working out really well for me. Oh, it's Hyper Beam. That's why I needed the, that's why I needed the light screen plus the fig. I'm so glad I went for that. I like, uh, Fiery Wrath into the Hisuian Zorak picks up the knockout. I have a lot of pressure against the Heat Trend now. Fiery Wrath should knock out the Fur Wrath unless it has Protect. I don't think the Fur Wrath outspeeds my Galarian Moltres. At least I don't think it should. I still have light screen turns. I thought the light screen turns because I felt like I was playing a very long game at that point. Yeah, I have last turn of light screen. Eh. I actually have no idea if I outspeed the heat trend or not. Oh, well, we'll find out together. If I don't, I still have Grim, which isn't the worst. But yeah, it's not ideal. But yeah, we're going to go for Fire Wrath and... Terra Dragon, does that change anything here? Not really. Terrifier Grim does change the matchup. Okay. I think we life do. Let's see how fast the heat train is. It's not yet. I had a feeling the Galarian Moltres was faster initially. I get the KO on the giraffe and the heat train just will lose the game because I have Munkadori that can clean it up and the Galarian Moltres is still really solid. I actually do outspeed the heat train with the Sinisha, so I do get the life do. Uh, that might allow Moltres to live this heat wave guaranteed. Oh, I flinched too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. Game got a little bit scary just because of that crit, but you know what? Moltres was able to survive. Tank attacks, absolutely incredible right there. <laughs> I'm really glad that we were just able to parting shot pivot, which is really nice. Like the Munkadori was actually able to parting shot pivot even through the Furigraph switching with Armor Tail. Like it actually wasn't bad. It actually wasn't bad. <laughs> Cause I was just able to set up the Glaring Moltres and it was really hard to, for them to break through. Granted, unless they crit. Blood or Main Tornadus Amoongus Water Ogre Pond with the Como and Chi Yu. Huh. So definitely an interesting team, I'll say that much. Uh, the Flutter main. how do I want to approach this? Because I don't, uh, like this matchup isn't bad for me. I don't think I'm bringing Arcanine. Arcanine's not too great here. I want to say it's going to be Munkadori plus Grimmsnarl. Fake out, set up my screens immediately if I can. And then in the back, or I just reposition with Parting Shot, which is also fine. I, I don't want to lead Galarian Moltres immediately because I don't want to lead double Fairy Week, which seems really bad in the Sinistra combination. So I think it's these four. My low deck doesn't really do much here, I think, for the most part. And Arcanine isn't too bad here. I'm a little bit worried about the Wellspring Ogre Pawn. It's definitely not... It's not a bad option. I just don't really want to... I could probably see myself leading like... Arcanine plus the Grimmsnarl. I'm a little bit worried if they led something like uh, Water Ogre Pond plus Fluttermane. So that's what I kind of want to try to cover to see. Because I think Munkadori would be really good into it. Like my instinct is telling me like Water Ogre Pond plus Fluttermane here. But it's going to be Tornadus and Chi. All right. Against uh, Grimmsnarl and the Munkadori. Found his choice specs and found Focus Ash. All right. So... I have a few options here. I can go for like really strong damage. I can parting shot immediately. I do want to light screen up for sure. And I probably want to parting shot out the Chi Yu realistically. So I'm going to parting shot, parting shot to Chi Yu. I'm going to go for a light screen here. 
and uh we'll see how the rest goes they could go for tailwind if this is icy wind that's the only problematic they could bleak wind which is fine i just want to make sure that she is checked if they go for tailwind heat wave i'm totally acceptable if they go for anything else well i don't know if they're gonna go for terra if this is terra ghost i'm really glad i didn't fake out because i did consider it yep <laughs> really glad i didn't consider that oh no it's terra fire okay they're trying to wall break through right now which is fine all right so they can't tear the flutter main which is pretty good light screen also i can party shout out to chi the next turn so that's amazing for me actually yeah they go straight for the bleak wind please 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 oh my goodness I. Oh, uh, unfortunately, the one time I want to. Wow. Just because I didn't get. Just because of a bleak wind speed drop, man. Just because. I think it's over. Uh, is it over? Uh, I think so. I think so. Is there a chance we could win? Sure. The Torn can't have taunt. The Torn literally can't have taunt. So we're gonna para dragon, we're gonna go for trick room, and we're gonna go for nasty plot. Are you serious, man? Ah, oh, that is so unfortunate for me. We're gonna see the swab, which makes sense. Into I don't know what that is, Amoongus. Yep. I mean, there's really not much I can do. Granted, uh now I can actually get support with Sinisha too, which is also problematic. Yeah. <laughs> like it was going fine. I was gonna party shot. I was gonna get into Galarian Moltres. First time I was gonna live. I could party shot back. Ah, they tailwind though for some reason. Okay, wait. Maybe that gives me a shot. I don't know why they tailwinded, but all right. Do you get the nasty plot off with the Galarian Moltres? I am gonna get trick him up. If only I could self burn my freaking Galarian Moltres. <laughs> eh. Matcha gotcha here and air slash, I suppose. Because I do need to focus down the Amoongus right now. Matcha gotcha. Okay. Let's get whatever little bit of damage the spore does come out. And then bleak wind. It doesn't look like they have taunt, so that's kind of nice, I suppose. Hey, air slash. Okay. It's leftover black sludge amoongus. Eh, can I? If I wake up and I just air slash KO the amoongus, we're in an okay position. A pollen puff, okay. If I wake up here instantly, like this is actually like a doable game. Come on, come on, Galarian Moltres. Air slash. Come on. Because I'm just healing no damage from the Amoongus plus Torn right here. Okay. It. Nice. We got a game. We got a game. Thank goodness. Why do you have both Bleakwind and Air Slash? Okay. <laughs> they double miss, which I'm gladly taking. I will gladly take that. After the turn one speed drop, for sure. Fluttermane coming in. Gonna go for the Bleak Wind plus the Fire Wrath. I just don't see a reason why I wouldn't go for it. Uh, I could go for Air Slash, but like I have the chance to flinch too. And I don't know if like the damage is really going to change too much. So yeah, I'm going to Macha Gotcha. Gonna go for the Fire Wrath. If they want to switch in Chiyu, that means I always live. Like, with light screen up, I feel like I'd also live. But then again, like, they would have to go Chiyu. I don't know if the Chiyu is bulky enough to live. The combination of Machigacha and the plus two Fire Wrath. So, they're just in a really tough pickle right here. <laughs> Can't believe we might actually... I'm not going to say anything yet. You know, uh, like, this This is still a game. Fire Wrath is not KOing Fluttermane, I know that. Matcha Gotcha would. Like, the thing is, if they go Chiyu, then the... Like, the thing is, I don't think Fluttermane can KO me here without the Chiyu support. But the thing is, if they go into Chiyu, Fluttermane goes down. So they're going to protect Fluttermane, which makes sense here. Okay. I don't think I do that much damage to the Torn, but I guess we'll find out together. 
Uh, we do have the... I forgot what we even saw in the torn. Wasn't it... Was it Rocky Helmet? I can't remember. Okay. Fire Wrath into the torn. This is a plus two, but it shouldn't KO just because... Unless it's not bulky torn at all. It is... Or we get a critical hit, which... I don't know. Actually, the torn was weaker than I thought, so maybe, but... Uh, again, we're not, we're not questioning it. We're taking it. So this is Chi Yu. We know that it was Specs Chi Yu. So we just go for attacks and we're going to see how this is going to, how play out. <laughs> so we go for the Machi Gacha. We're going to go for the Fire F and we'll find out together. Because I do need the damage on both of these. They go for a double protect, which makes sense because I guess they just don't expect to live the combo. We'll find out together. They could have went for the Magic Gotcha Miss because I don't even think Fire Wrath plus two with the Beats of Ruin would KO. Okay. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Fire Wrath. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. They go for the overheat. Okay. Uh, they're hoping to crit the... Play Moltre. That does so much damage. I guess that's Terra Fire for you, but... Jeez. Berserk on the Glaring Moltres will activate. We can go for the Rage Powder and... Okay. Even with the terrible turn one start, we got the luck back into our favor and was able to seal this up. Because we know with Specs, we saw it from the Frisk earlier. So, Amogadori... Thank you for, I guess, telling us the item, even though we probably could have deduced it. I can Rage Powder, I can go for Fire Wrap, and that 100% seals up the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I really thought that this was just, like, an over game. I really thought it was a lost cause, but I don't know. They didn't preserve the Amoongus. Uh, and, yeah, then Trick Room, Galarian Moltres just gave them so much of a problematic time. Alolan Ninetales with the Okadogi plus Rillaboom, Arcanine, Hisuian Form, Roaring Moon, and the Water Ogre Pond. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I don't, I, I kind of like having Intimidate on the Hisuian Arcanine, but at the same time, it's not amazing. I can't stop screens, which is kind of an unfortunate one here. I think, yeah, just dealing with that Ninetales might actually be a bit tricky. I think to start off, I would probably want want to say Grimmsnarl plus the Galarian Moltres is really solid. And then in the back, I lead, I have the Munkadori plus the Sinistra. I don't know. This is going to be a really hard game. Uh, having Intimidate isn't great because of the Okadogi. I kind of like the idea of the team. I just don't have a way to shut down Aurora Bell because I have nothing faster than the Nine Tails. Because I'm a really slow team. So we're probably just going to match screens. And then it's just going to play out from there. If they don't bring the screens mode. Sure it actually makes it probably a lot easier. For myself. The Roy Moon is actually pretty concerning. Because Roy Moon can threaten a lot of damage. It can threaten a lot. So I do need Reflect up. And I do need Light Screen up. So we'll find out together. Because this is probably going to be like. If they lead Nine Tails Roy Moon. I'm actually kind of in a very difficult position. For the most part, but let's see if we can set up nasty plots with the Blair Moltres to sweep because that's going to be like the crucial part of this game. Going to be the lead of Roaring Moon plus Okadogi. Okay. Huh. I will gladly take that. I kind of wish I led something else, but this, this works out. Speed booster. Oh, it's not attack booster. That actually is a tailwind. That makes it a lot easier then. Okay. I'm going to reflect up. And I'm just going to Nasty Plot with my Galarian Moltres. Not having Light Screen up would kind of suck for the Ninetales, but everything else is physical on their team. So we'll go for the Nasty Plot. We'll go for the Reflect. They go for Protect in case I Spirit Broke. Okay. I went for Spirit Break. Okay, that works. I do go for the Reflect. All right. That's really ideal that I actually went for that. I do get a free Nasty Plot off. All right. Cool. They go for the gunk shot immediately. I think this might KO. Oh, it does not. Actually, not close. All right, beautiful. Uh, I have low kick. I kind of want a parting shot out there. I kind of want a parting shot because I feel like you... Uh, 
actually, no, you would take the KO on Okadote. You would take the KO on Grim, right? I'm going to low kick because I have it. I'm going to air slash immediately. Uh, Okadoki, because if I get rid of Okadoki, I'm in a good spot. They do retreat the... Okay, they do retreat the... Oh, they go, they go Ninetales, which... That might be really good for me that I get free damage in Ninetales. Okay. You go for a knockoff, actually. Okay, that gets rid of my Citrus Berry, but... I get a free low kick off into the... Roy Moon, and I get an Air Slash. That's really risky. If I had Spirit Break, like... I would've just KO'd your Roy Moon. That's not a good position for you, but okay. I'm getting my light screen up. And... I think I want to just fire Raph here? Uh, they're going to Roar Veil, right? I think... Actually, no. I think I want to Air Slash take the KO on Ninetales. I'm very surprised by how they decide to play this start, but... Okay. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure Guard Dog only works for Intimidate. It doesn't work for Punish if I'm not mistaken, because I've never had the interaction before. So that could actually be a factor in this game, but uh, we'll find out together. I do want to light screen up. Uh, I'm just getting some really good turns. Maybe they fought out Nasty Pot again and was trying to Encore me into that, which uh, I'm really glad I didn't. I just went for the Air Slash. Breaking Swipe. Oh, I guess this Roy Moon has, I'm guessing it's Tail and Breaking Swipe knockoff, which means it's and Protect. So it has actually no ways to actually deal damage. They actually go for a Blizzard. Okay, per perfect, perfect, perfect. The Berserk. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So I get rid of Ninetales. No screens are up. Fantastic. <laughs> this has gone way better than I would have anticipated. So glad they take that. So this is Okadoki coming back in. You know what? If I lose because I find out a new mechanic, this is the best way to learn from it. I'm going to go for it and I'm going to air slash. I mean, I don't care about the Roaring Moon. The Roaring Moon can't do anything. Yeah, I just air slash. I'm going to party shot and try to go in a Sinistra and just air slash. We'll find out together if like this is a huge mistake or not. You go for protect. All right. What? They're just trying to get more damage. Parting shot and breaking swipe. Tailwind. Okay, I mean, I guess they can break and swipe the next turn. Doesn't change anything for me. I'm like pretty confident that guard dock only works on. I intimidate. I'm just gonna parting shot. There's no way you're terra dark. There's no way you're terra dark on your thing. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go out and sinister and just heal back. And then I'll rage powder support for the next coming game. So parting shot. Yeah, lowers the attack. Yeah, guard dog doesn't activate. Okay, I was right. Okay. Had a feeling. Uh, and we go out into Sinistra. And then we can maybe get a second Berserk boost. Yep. I wonder what the last Pokemon is. If it's Ogre Pond, then I have quite a few answers to it. But I am very happy with the position we've been in so far. Breaking Swipe does nothing. And... Let's see. Okie dokie. It's hurt by the Rocky Helmet, which is also convenient. Long shot. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's that too. Okay. I'm gonna trick room here. Because I don't think they can punish a trick room. And I'm just gonna protect. I could Rage Powder too. Uh, I mean, this could come down to, uh, again, a lot of RNG factors here. Because the thing is, I think no matter what, this would come down to RNG anyway. No matter if I chose to Rage Powder or Life Dew. Because if the knockoff crits my Sinistra, then the Gunk Shot is just going to, I think, be enough to take care of the Galarian Moltres. So, I think in this case, it is better to go for the Trick Room. Because I'd get more mileage, I think, out of the Life Dew and uh, Fire Raft the following turn. So let's see. Get the protect. Go for knockoff. Okay. I think we'll live any follow up if they did double up in the Sinistra. Rocky helmet. They do go for the gunk shot into the Galarian Moltres. Perfect. And then I can life do. Okay, perfect. And the thing is, the trick room might force them to play like protect to sell out their last turn tailwind. And then that might just be a free life do. So. I don't see why I wouldn't go for it here. I am going to life do. 
And I'm going to go for a fire off. I probably get some really good damage in Okadoki regardless. So this is still like a pretty solid position. I'm not even that concerned about the Okadoki. Uh, if I can get rid of the partner, then I'm in a really good spot. Yeah, like if they protect, I had a feeling by how they like the protect on Roaring Moon, I thought immediately was a bit strange. But then again, I guess they had no way to pressure the Grimmsnarl. So yeah, I get a free life do. I get a free fire raft KO onto the Roaring Moon. And now like next turn, I can go for it again. <laughs> or I can Rage Powder. I have so many plays I can go for. Like, I can leave the Okadogi to the end game of Munkadori. I just got to finish everything else. So, despite how this matchup I thought would have looked on paper, like, they didn't lead the Ninetales. And I was able to, like, and they went for a Blizzard instead of their Roar Veil. So, I ended up getting a lot of momentum through that. We're going to see Reelaboom come in. Okay. So, we just go for a Life Dew and a Protect. Wait, did I protect? No, I didn't protect the last turn. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I did for a second, but like, yeah, this is fake out gunk shot. Yep. And you know what's also good in the back? Munkadori will clean up. Munkadori will clean up. If we even get to that point, I don't even know if we'll get to that point at this rate because I'm pretty sure that I'm just winning with Sinistra plus Galarian Moltres and there's like nothing my opponent can do. You go for a bulk up, sure. Okay. But at this point, I just go for Reflect Wears Off. Okay, now I Rage Powder. How many, how many stages? Of, I am plus four. I don't think I KO the... Uh, I should be fine for the most part. I'm just going to go for a Rage Powder with my Sinistra. I have enough health at this point in the game. I'm going to Fire Wrath the... I'm not going to risk, I think, missing. I don't think I have to miss. I don't have to risk missing anymore. So I'm just going to go for Rage Powder here. Let's see what they decide to go for. Gunk Shot. They miss. Okay. I'm okay if they hit that, but... Hey, would that have... No, it, it was the Sinister Text, right? I'm pretty sure that wasn't Goggles on the thing. Get a Berserk. Plus five. Fire off. So much damage to that really boom. Uh, yeah, it's leftovers. Yeah, it wasn't. Okay. So I'll play with the food a little bit just to be safe because I think this is the safest way I do win the game. Uh, life do and go for protect. Actually, I don't need to like... Nah, no, I protect. It's safe. How many turns of trick room are left? Yeah, it's the last turn of trick room. So yeah, this is super safe. I don't gonna be forfeit. Okay. I will gladly take that. <laughs> so yeah, just just not to start I expected. I really thought they would have just led Ninetales and tried to set up a Roar Veil. Uh the Okadogi plus Roy Moon ended up being I don't know. You were able to pressure the Grim, which I thought with at least Okadoki. The Roy Moon I felt like just didn't do anything for the most part. Like it was like it, it could knock off items, I suppose, but uh double dark isn't exactly the best case to do it and Afterward, just free nasty plots, I think, for the Glaring Moltres, which ended up being, like, really strong against their team. <laughs> All right, let's go over the games. In game one, the taunt from the Hisuian Zora caught me off guard, and I thought that was Scarf for Riga for a second, because I have caught a few of those in the past, but the Como on their side wasn't able to do a lot with the constant party shots and light screens, so was able to get an opportunity to set up the Glaring Moltres and keeping it healthy with the Sinisha. In game two, a disastrous turn one from the Bleak Wind Storm speed drop, meaning I lost both Pokemon. But then good RNG with the Spore Sleep turns to make a comeback with Galarian Moltres on their Trick Room. In game three, not sure what the Aurora Moon was doing, but Galarian Moltres was able to set up easily. And I didn't have to worry about dealing with the Aurora Veil, which meant Moltres pressured my opponent's entire team and Mukadori would have been able to clean up the remaining mods. I am upset that I'm still not able to really showcase Mukadori and how powerful it was. It was pretty useful to the team and we did get to use it a little bit, but man, it's just like always, every time I use this mod, it's like I either have already cleaned up the end game for the most part and they forfeit 
or he's just like not able to show up in time because the Galarian Moltres mode was absolutely crazy. If you do want to try out the rent -a code of this team, it's available right here on your screen. You can check out the details of the team in the creator down below the description. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more VGC content. As always, maybe one day we'll get to use a more powerful Moonkandori set that actually will be able to do a lot of work while it's on screen.